Hello my fellow Stellaris enthusiasts, my name is Dalefix and welcome to what's going to be a somewhat weird video of Stellaris. Now this video is all going to be about a, uh, a big ass bug that I've been, well, I've been made aware of by uh, one of my community members. Um, in this bug you can actually move um, AI fleets. Uh, without them, of course, being yours. Uh, we're going to be testing out for ourselves what it will do. Um, we're going to watch his clip, his video of um, of what happened, and um, I'll, I'll see you back in a second. And I will um, talk through his video just to explain to you or tell you where to look uh, and to see what will change. So um, here we go. I'll see you in a second. So what we see now is he's actually in a sector with a AI ship. Uh, as you can see, it is moving. It's uh, it's surveying uh, the system. So he's trying to select both of them, which is absolutely not going to be working. I think he probably is going to be uh, pressing shift now. So moving one of his ship to uh, to the um, the star. Now he has both selected, and by pressing move, he is of course uh, still not nothing changes selecting the patrolling and there you go automatic uh, patrolling moving this is uh this is something damn he is actually going to be moving this ai ship into a different sector so completely different from what it was supposed to do now getting into a bug like that is absolutely completely strange uh, I'm not sure if people are aware of that. I think this could be absolutely horrible if you are playing multiplayer games. Where you, for some weird old reason, your science ship is moving into systems System which aren't yours. Or say, you have the uh, a hostile fleet moving into your system without any explanation or just basically because it's been hijacked that's just weird but we're going to be testing this one out ourselves so um i think this is a good time as any just to uh, to get in there and and let's try this out ourselves so give me a moment again okay so uh, welcome back um for this test we're taking control of just an ai uh, empire um i selected uh, these guys as their id is, uh, is 16 so play 16. um let's just get out of um uh, out of this menu actually we don't need to well forgive me for the debugging tool to actually i could turn that off just so it's not going to be that annoying here you go we're going to be sending this uh, scientist um, right here for exploration. Now, hopefully these guys are not going to be hostile right away because that would be, um, well, rather annoying. Okay, so we are now in the uh, the system. There is, um, this is the science vessel of a uh, another species. So let's just take a look. If, uh, if we can actually select both of them. Here we go. So we should now have both of them. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to allow the game to, s to go slowly. And we're going to be moving you both over there. Now you're still surveying. Hmm... So he is still entering orbit. He is now. Oh my god, it is working. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh. Oh, they are not going to like that. I can tell you that. Damn. Look, they can actually. I can send them on patrol over here if I like. Moving to the TOA system. Uh, actually, we're going to be changing it. Let's move there. Moving to unknown system. We're going to be keep or moving it to somewhere. They, they're completely at, at what I want to be doing. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wow. Does this 
change the fact will it come in here will it now start doing its own thing once it's deselected let's uh let's tell you to hold off over here or will it just keep on keep on going that's a bit of my question now let's let's move back let's see if it actually oh wow it's 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 here it is moving into unknown territory no way Oh, that's fantastic. That is so cool. And and really, really, really not something you can be proud of. Uh, let's move you over there. Moving to unknown system. They're moving both. Can you imagine what this could do if you, say, find a massive fleet that's not hostile to you? Well, that's it for my test. I know it isn't uh, the biggest, the brightest over there, but I'm sure there's a bunch of you that um, would know a thing or two that they can use to really exploit multiplayers and single players. And um, I did ask, I did ask the member of my community to um, send in. Uh, the video as well as uh, a bug report to Paradox Interactive so I'm really hoping this is going to be uh, fixed because um, th this would really keep me out of multiplayer sessions for some time I'm not sure how about you let me know in the comment section what you think if this was something that you already discovered and if you did why did you not tell st the, the Stellaris team or did you tell the Stellaris team um, just let me know your opinions, your feelings. How was it possible that th this was in the game? It never was, to my knowledge, so why is it now? What went wrong? And hopefully it will be fixed soon. As for now, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.